Hi, today I'm going to make a octopus out of my brand new pink homemade clay. You can find the recipe on YouTube in my content and I have also posted it on Facebook with the panda bear that I already made. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of sectioning out the part that is going to be the head and then this will be the legs. I just have a paper clip taped to a pencil. I'm going to use that to cut and section out what will be the legs. See that? And it's so forgiving and pliable that if, oh no, I cut too deep or I cut it too thin, it's going to fall off and then I can just put it right back on. So it's not a big deal. Just going to soften and round the edges of each of the little, they're not really legs, are they? They're more like tentacles, aren't they? So I'm just manipulating and caressing them. Like that one started to come off, so I'm smoothing that one back on. It's so soft, pliable, easy to work with, just fun. So we got four of them. Now I'll do the next four. Cut it nice and even. It might work too if you have a plastic knife in your kitchen. And kids, if you're doing this alone, make sure you ask and get permission before you go digging around through the kitchen drawers and taking stuff that mom and dad don't know about, okay? Also, make sure you're working on a easy to clean surface so that you're not leaving uh, colored marks on furniture, upholstery, or carpet, all right? Stay in your des designated creative space. Okay, so I've got the tentacles formed. Now, oh my goodness, what a knobby head. Poor thing, he's been through a lot. So let's clean him up and make him look a little smoother and fluid like they are. I'm going to define where the head comes out and off the tentacles a little bit and then define where the eye sockets are. And the, they're so floppy and fluid, like I said. They move around every which direction. And so nothing can be wrong, really, because whatever shape you give them, they're likely to create that shape out of their eight tentacles and their goofy, very mobile and pliable head. I've already taken some of my blue clay and shaped little round eyeballs. I'm going to poke with a pencil to keep them in there. Poke with a pencil. I don't rub and smear the colors together because I really do like being able to take it apart and reuse the clay again to shape something else. So also I have already taken and shaped a bunch of little round white suction cups that will go on the tentacles. Put that on there and press with the pencil. Press with the pencil. So I think maybe they dried out too much. I think I'm going to grab and make some fresh ones. So as the clay, this play clay sits out, it dries up. So I'm putting all those back, letting them back in the container to get saturated again from the rest of the body and make some fresh ones. I'm just going to press them on with the tip of a pencil. I love that. I've had some of it get kind of dry and crusty because I left the lid off and all I had to do was put it back in the container, put the lid on, work it a little bit, and it's saturated again. And you know, that one's dry, so I'm going to put that back in. But anyway, putting it back with the rest of it softens it again. Love that. That and the ingredients are so inexpensive, so it's easy enough to make it again. Tiny little bead to be the little suction cup. Urgh. There and there. Some can come in the air. 
All right. <laughs> so he's just fun. You could play around with it, add as many suction cups as you want. You can extend the tentacles and have them reach in any which direction you want. But if you are inclined to create one of these, I sure would love it if you take a picture, post it, and then tag Lake Country Fine Arts School and Gallery. That would be great. Thank you for watching.